Happy Tuesday, Viking fans. We have more information about the choir concert tonight. I'm Madison. And I'm Kara. SVTV starts now. Tonight there is a choir concert. We talked to Mackenzie to learn more about it. Hey Fikes, I'm here with Mackenzie to talk about the spring choir concert. So what is going on tonight? Tonight there is a choir concert. <laughs> um, what time is the concert? The concert starts at 7 o'clock. Is this all the choirs combined into one? So is it like show choir and concert choir or just one of them? Yeah, it's all the choirs, social choir, concert choir, women's ensemble, and the middle school choir, And but we sing separately, so the different groups will be singing different songs. Okay, and how do you think the choir's been improving lately? Um, well, Mr. Huff likes to let us do a lot of, like, self-led improvements of, like, whatever we feel like we need to work on, we bring it up to him, and so that helps a lot because you have to pay attention to what you're doing wrong and fix it. And how do you expect the group to sound like at the end of the year? Pretty good. I think we've improved a lot over the school year and I think we'll be sounding pretty good come the end of the year. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Now let's head back over to your anchors. Make sure to come out tonight and hear them sing. Now for your news. The next Afterglow meeting will be this Wednesday in room E14 at 6.30. Math Club is planning a pie day fundraiser for this Wednesday. They will travel to seminars and sell slices of pie for $2. There are several practice sessions to get you ready for the April 14th ACT test. Each session costs $10. Pay the bank in advance and turn in receipts to the teachers hosting the session. Students using payment plans for Washburn Education, Thursday is the due date for your second payment. Seniors, the scholarship webpage has been updated this week. Please check it out. Order your yearbook before spring break. Prices go up Friday for standard book. Now let's head over to sports. They said, would you like some pie? I said, yes, I would. Donations will be collected February 21st through March 13th. The teacher with the most money wins. Pieing will happen March 14th. The goal is to raise $2,000. Our contestants are Mrs. Geis, Mr. Rocastle, Mr. O'Brien, Mrs. Majette, Mrs. Halpin, Mr. Elliott, Mr. Freeze, Mr. and Mrs. Riley, Mr. Reinberg, Mrs. Strader, Mr. Alexander, and Mrs. Anderson. 7932384626463. Honey, where's my SVTV? SBTV is sponsoring another bracket challenge where the best bracket will get a $10 gift card and second and third place will win a $5 gift card. Here's how you can sign up. First, you're going to want to go to ESPN.com bracket. Next, you're going to want to go up to groups. When you get to groups, scroll down and search SHS Tournament Challenge. Once you click on SHS Tournament Challenge, you're going to want to press create a bracket. After that, you're going to need to sign in or create your own account from ESPN. Once you've done that, scroll down and press join group. The password is Vikings123. Make sure to have your brackets turned in before the first game on Thursday, March 15th. There will be an informational meeting for freshmen interested in volleyball during activity period on Wednesday in Ms. Schaefer's room. Any students interested in purchasing softball or baseball apparel, forms can be picked up in the front office. Softball forms are due the 15th and baseball forms are due the 14th. Now we're to care with the weather. What's poppin' Viking fans? <laughs> it is currently 44 degrees and tonight it will go up to 46. For your three-day forecast, you have highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s, and Friday looks like you have a chance of rain. And today in history is Lay Allen Baker's birthday from Good Luck Charlie, and it's National Canine Veterans Day. 
Now let's have now let's head back over to your anchors. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great rest of your day.